Good morning, folks. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm back in here. I wrote you guys a special script just for you. Hello, how are you doing this morning, folks? The script says people fear being alone. And this is true, folks. I believe this is how people wind up with a narc in their life, but really... Reality is we cannot rush someone to love us. We can find someone who can lie to us and pretend to love us, but words do not mean anything without action. But we are so desperate to be loved. We are longing for love and attention from someone. I totally get it. I have been there, but narcs play on our emotions and feelings, and so they pick us out of this crowd of people who truly have love, love, compassion, and empathy. We are beautiful people with wonderful souls. We just want to be loved. Loneliness drives us to do desperate things in our lives, when in reality, living alone gives us the freedom to do as we please, taking our time to find that special person we deserve. I'm a survivor of domestic violence, folks, and I've been in your shoes before, only wanting to be loved by that special person, but that special person wound up being a narcissist. Well, actually, he wasn't a special person. They wound up being narcissists because narcissists have a tendency to want to uh, rush into relationships because they have a bad agenda for your lives. And I just want to see you folks get out here and take your time and find somebody to truly love you and your children, folks. I'm looking out for your best interest, and uh, the way, you know, how do you say it, uh, looking out for you not being abused and your children being able to thrive and being healthy and stuff and not having to put up with a narcissist dictating everything, folks. Yes, I, I'm just trying to get you guys to see these videos because it's going to be very helpful to you. It's going to be helpful to people out here in society, you know, that maybe they don't know anything about narcissists because, like myself, uh, the subject just never came up in our household because my daddy was not a narcissist. He had the utmost respect for women, and there's no way that he would ever lay a hand on a woman or anything. My daddy's been dead now for a long time, but um, I'm speaking up for his demeanor because I was a daddy's girl, and I, I knew my daddy very well, and he was a respectful person, folks. And... um. So anyway, I wanted to get in here and say hello to y'all, and I hope that your day's going well, and I hope that you're hanging in there and doing the best you can, folks. Um, yesterday was another busy day for me. We had to go to town and take care of some things, you know, and um, Sometimes there's things in this life that drags us away, folks. We don't choose to do that, but we have to do it, see. But uh, anyway, I, you know me. I get in here and I spend time with my community every chance I get, folks. And I love y'all, and, and I'm sending out hugs to you. And I hope that these scripts are very helpful, folks. Uh, take care of your children. Don't let nobody, don't let no narcissists be around them, folks. Uh, we want these little children to grow up to not to only uh, 
no love of genuine people and not narcissists. Uh, the reason that I'm, it's so important to me um, to make sure that everybody stays well, healthy and everything is because I have, I have love and empathy, folks, and I do not want to see people get in these bad situations, you know. But that's why I get in here and I share my story to the best of my knowledge and to the best of my experiences to help you guys out, see. Uh, well, um, I'm hoping that these, this script helps you guys see that, um, you know, I used to fear being alone, folks. I used to fear that too, but after I was in a narcissistic relationship for a while, uh, I wound up getting out of it and moving into my own place by myself. And I discovered things about myself that I didn't really realize. And that was uh, taking my time and being alone in my own place and figuring things out for my own life and where I was going to go next. And I was able to uh, heal myself that way, too, because I didn't have somebody around hindering me all the time, you know, with me getting well and stuff. And it gave me plenty of time to read stuff. Because you can go to the library, folks, and get books on abuse that'll share different stories with you about what ladies has been through and stuff, you know, and, um, so, yeah, when you live by yourself, folks, you can get books and read on different things to help you out, too, as well, and know the reality of, uh, abuse, and, uh, so, Anything that you can learn and be educated on, folks, you can uh, be healthier that way. So I want you to know that this script I wrote for you, it goes out to all of you guys to try to take care of yourselves and take your time. I know that uh, it's rough when you're by yourself and you're looking for that special person. But reality is, folks, we can't rush a relationship. And I'm not saying that to be mean or anything. I'm saying that to help you out. Because, um, you know, if you rush a relationship, you're probably going to wind up with a narcissist, folks. And you don't want to do that. That's a bad situation. But uh, anyway, I, I hope you guys enjoy this script, and I hope you guys have a nice day and a blessed day, too. Hugs go out to you, folks. Hi, once again. You guys are awesome, and you got this, folks. I hope you enjoy this script, and you have a nice morning, okay, and a blessed morning, too. Bye-bye.